welcome back to my channel. This is Meg from nursemegrn.com and I am here to help you succeed as a nursing student or as a new nurse. My goal with this channel is to revolutionize this next generation of nurses so that you guys feel confident in your skills, you love your profession, and you stay because we really need more nurses. If you ever need more help, you can find me on my website, nursemegrn.com, or on my TikTok and Instagram and Facebook channel and all of those things. I'll put links down below to all of those things. So let's get started with today's video. So this video is about how to give a head to toe assessment. Now this can apply for nursing students or for brand new nurses who are maybe just struggling with their time management and things like that. I actually have an entire course called the new nurse survival guide. It teaches nurses how to do basic things like to take assessments, give report, talk to doctors, read EKGs, like everything that your preceptor should teach you, but maybe you don't get an incredible preceptor. So that's why I wanna be your virtual preceptor. So let's get started, a quick head to toe assessment. Um, I'm gonna be reading from my laptop and on my laptop I'm gonna be reading from my book, Resources for Registered Nurses, The Ultimate Guide to Bedside Nursing. I actually have an assessment guide that you can print out and use in the room while you're with the patient or like right before you go in to do your head to toe assessment. So it'll also help you with um, the charting of your assessment if you have this with you. Um, and it'll also, the more you do it, you'll create like a mental flow of doing this assessment sheet over and over and over. And then you'll just develop your own skill, your own set of doing it on your own. So of course you're going to assess more in depth depending on the patient's case, if they have a certain type of device or ostomy or post-op, whatever, or if you're on a neuro floor or a cardiac floor, you're gonna be a little bit more focused on that specific area. But let's go through a quick head to toe assessment guide. So of course you would walk into the room and wash your hands with uh, alcohol or, or alcohol gel or just wash your hands. And then you're gonna, of course, always introduce yourself when you walk into the room. You always have to think about the patient and, and how they are feeling. They're also nervous too, getting a new nurse in the morning and oh gosh, who's, who am I gonna be with for the next 12 hours? Uh, so you really wanna set a precedent, you want to establish professionalism and you wanna leave a good uh, first impression. So hi, uh, my name is Meg, I'm gonna be your nurse today. Write your name and number on the dry erase board and then always be observing the patient when you walk in the room for nonverbal cues. Um, mobility, range of motion, appropriate responses, alert and oriented uh, states, things like that. And then of course, really quick, uh, vital signs, if your um, tech or your helper has not uh, done it, temperature, pulse, blood pressure, respirations, O2 sat, and pain level. Um, and then of course, observe their head shape and condition um, while you're doing that, eyes, pupil reaction, uh, size and equality, and like conjunctiva, things like that. And then ears, are they hearing impaired? Uh, nose, mouth, and throat, any drainage, any mucosa, difficulty breathing, lesions, um, their teeth, do they have... And then of course, with um, when you listen to the heart from the front uh, with your stethoscope, you're listening for that love dub for that S1, S2 sounds. Um, and then if you don't hear clear love dub S2, S1, S2, um, document appropriate murmurs. And then we move on down, because we're doing head to toe, we move on down to the abdomen. We're gonna listen to bowel sounds in all four quadrants. You're gonna palpate a little bit for tenderness, and you're also gonna palpate the bladder. Is the bladder there, is the bladder full? And then of course, ask about INOs, like are you eating, are you drinking, are you eliminating? Ask about appetite, assess genitalia if indicated. Now extremities. Extremities, arms and legs, you're gonna assess temperature, capillary refill, pulses, range of motion. Take note of any pain of any discoloration or any edema. Super important, especially in the extremities. And then of course you always assess at the beginning of uh, your shift right after report. As soon as you get report and that patient is yours, if they have been handed off to you, assess them as soon as possible. Don't go get coffee, don't get breakfast, do your assessments first. You need to know your patients and I, you, you gotta lay eyes on them, okay? You have to, trust me, I've been a nurse for 12 years. Please do this, make this a habit, make this a practice in your career, in your field. All right, so that was my um, assessment guide on how to do a head to toe assessment. I know I went pretty quickly. Um, I wish I had like a volunteer that I could do this on <laughs> and show you how I would do it in a patient in their bed. Um, 
but that is how you do a really quick head to toe assessment. It doesn't have to take, you know, 15 minutes for each patient. It can be quick and focused. Um, if you want to get this assessment guide on how to do it head to toe, um, I suggest that you go to my website, NurseMegRN, and then go to courses. You're gonna find it under the new nurse survival guide. Now I teach things like how to give a head to toe assessment and many other things, um, how to communicate as a nurse, pretty much everything you need to know to be an incredible and impressive new nurse and also feel confident in your skills and feel confident in the profession that you've chosen and love what you do. And I want you to feel that, okay? I want you to feel good about the profession that you've chosen and love going into work every day and not feel so scared to clock in. I want you to feel confident and happy with the decisions that you've made. So if you ever need anything, feel free to DM me on Instagram. My DMs are wide open. I answer every single comment. I answer every single message. Um, so good luck out there. Hang in there. You're going to be fantastic. Have a good day. Bye. Have a good shift.